Yes, I've already been outside. And yes, it is still freezing. Let me show you the angle right now. Uh, hold on. No, I just haven't come out from outside, but it's it's. I'm still thawing out. Let me put it to you that way. Exact temperature. I'll get the I'll get the temperature. Okay. You know, I was. I'll tell you what. What about this angle thing? Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, I wasn't actually gonna start. Look at I'm frozen here. It'll keep a, it'll play back. I wasn't actually going to. Oh, the time, the clock has even stopped. That's because I'm opening up my uh, Chrome thing to try to get to the weather. I gotta check that out. See how that works. Okay. Just so I know what just happened. The clock on the recording thing, because there's a running clock as you're recording, and it froze at 43, along with my image. Completely frozen. But I know when you're playing it back, it, can, it doesn't freeze like that. But. So if I'm looking at this, I'm wondering what the heck was I doing? Okay, see now it's not frozen and it's at 152. All right. Oh, technology. It's wonderful. Technical glitches. All right, what was I saying? Oh, I wasn't going to actually start... Uh, I wasn't going to upload anything else until I was actually doing something. I had made some kind of progress. And I had at least completely finished a section or depending how long this this whole process is going to take or actually started uploading something this? 20 degrees did that just say 20 yeah it's 20 degrees Hopefully. 20 degrees it's cold okay okay in the afternoon it's supposed to be 27 in the evening goes back down to 24 overnight 20 feels like 4 degrees windy I don't know what it feels like but it feels cold okay 20 feels like 4 degrees and still doing its thing. <sighs> okay, so why am I uploading something? Because I wasn't gonna, but I wasn't gonna bother mentioning anything else about the whole thing. I figured, okay, this is more or less as settled in as I need to be, considering um, <laughs> waiting for some. <sighs> real clever people to start bombing stuff, so it's just... Okay. But anyway. Um... Yeah, although you really do need a table and chair kind of thing, I'm going to try to do without. See how far I get with that. Uh... Yeah. Because I also like doing audio, once I and which has its own challenge. And I'm just going to try to do this thing without a table and chair. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to try to do it like this. So why am I uploading this thing if I haven't, if I'm not, haven't even finished a, a, a good section of this thing? Okay. So. What have I done so far, as far as my little projects are concerned? I will tell you. Absolutely 
nothing. I spent all this time doing nothing but thinking about food. Which is really unusual for me because I'm not a dieter. I don't diet. So just doing nothing but thinking about food is really weird for me. Okay? So that's... I mentioned the fact that they serve meals here. Okay, now they do serve like a a, a tray thing, but I mean it's just enough so you don't pass out in the lobby or, or kind of something like that. Okay. All the other add-ons are intensely processed foods. Okay, from their yogurt to their fruit cup to the, it's got lots and lots of sugar in it. Let me put it this way. If you're a diabetic, you'll end up in a coma within an hour. Okay, that kind of thing. And, um, yeah, cutting to the chase, you need to supplement the meals around here. Because you need to supplement the meals already. So what have I been spending all my time doing besides thinking about food? Okay, I located the closest gas station because I knew this is a hol major holiday and everything is going to be closed. Um, Mickey D's is open and I will make my way down to Mickey D's before lunch and um, to get something to eat before coming here. And, getting whatever. So at this point in time I've done nothing but think about food. Which is, as I've just said, very weird for me because I do not diet. That's really a weird thing for me to do. So went online I located the closest gas station since I knew everything was going to be closed today. Um, well, actually, at first I, I found the uh, the su uh, closest supermarket. Uh, I was just looking for. <laughs> I was doing nothing but thinking about food, okay, and, and 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 kind of, yeah. So I found where the closest Aldi's is. It's a supermarket. I found where the closest Dollar Tree is, and I found where the closest Family Dollar is. Family Dollar is really big in Houston, so, I mean, if you're looking for a, a Snackers Delight at, at cheap prices, Houston, it's Family Dollar. It's like every other block has a Family Dollar kind of thing, Family Dollar, so. Okay, so. I located the closest Aldi's, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar, and it's all within walking distance. Beautiful, but everything's closed today. So I also located the closest gas station. Though I know Mickey D's and Walgreens is open. That'll get into it too. Don't worry about it. Um, I don't know, Walgreens is so expensive though, so I wanted to... Okay, anyway. This morning, went up to brush my teeth. Well, the person was in the bathroom, fine. At this point, I've learned I'm going to brush my teeth when and or if I get an opportunity to do so. Okay? Because that's how the bathroom situation just the routine works out in these kind of circumstances. I'm not going to get hung up on that. Because... <laughs> Yeah, you just can't allow yourself to get hung up on that. So, all right, all right. Now the problem: I had an opportunity to use the bathroom. But that's enough. Put on my coat, put on whatever, and I Google mapped my way to the closest gas station, and I picked up a, a couple of Snickers bars because, yeah, that's a bad habit. Because apparently peanut M&M's is better for you if you compare the two uh, things, but 
when you're when you're pressed against the wall <laughs> kind of thing, bad habits resurface. So I went with the Snickers instead of the peanut uh, M and M peanuts. Excuse me. All right. So so I'm, I'm I'm pathetic and weak and all that kind of stuff. Fine. So I got my two Snickers bars. And made my way back here. Uh, did the breakfast thing. Um, actually, did, they didn't have a tray this morning. Uh, usually, they had some kind of tray meal, and then, like I said, the add-ons, which, if you value your health, you probably won't touch. But whatever. Uh, See, bagel, cream cheese, yeah, I had, I tried the banana bread, but it was like the other stuff, it's nothing but sugar. It felt like I was biting into a Twinkie, I mean, it was nothing but sugar. Uh, if I wanted that, I'd just stick with my Snickers bars, right? <laughs> my poison of choice, okay? So, yeah, yeah. Um, I hit the, uh, the gas station, got my Snickers bars, went had whatever they had there to eat today. Um, later on today, I'll go to Mickey D's, and then I'll go and have whatever tray they've got. Assuming they have a tray, maybe they, they... Uh, Actually, this is a good thing. Good video to put. I took a picture of a packaged apple when I was in the intake center because it just struck me how expensive is this? You know, it was like pre washed, delicious by the way, very packaged in an apple. And I'm here looking at this and thinking how labor-intensive just that pre-washed apple that, that had been packaged was nothing. How much did this cost to do this? And I had to take a picture of it. I had to take a picture. Uh, said, I, I'm just, I just don't know how New York works. I mean, this is an island, right? So everything has to... The logistics must be something else. So they got it down to a science or an art, I don't know, but I was just bewildered by this packaged apple and I had to take a picture of it. And just just trying to wonder just trying to figure out how much this thing must have cost to, to, to get it like that. So, so I'm gonna put that's gonna be my, my thumbnail for this thing. Um but yeah, the, the trays, there's usually a tray, and like I said, all the other the other stuff is like intensely processed items. That if you just mention the item would seem healthy, but if you value your health, you probably choose to stay away from it. So, yeah. The lunchtime, I'm going to go Mickey D's and then come back here. Yeah, I know my choices are, are, are really... I just got here, okay? I'm still trying to get some kind of routine, and, and I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm dealing with. I'm not even trying to get to the point of trying to put some kind of routine together. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm dealing with, so cut me some slack. Uh, yeah, besides the... the Gas station, Mickey D's, and Walgreens is what's going to be open today. If anything else is open, I don't know. You know, whatever. But I'll make my way to Mickey D's before lunch and then go in for whatever they may have. Package, tray or not tray. or If they only have the add-ons, I'll probably stay away from that. And, I don't know. Get a cup of water or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, the water's downstairs. There's a water cooler, so that's fine. 
and it has a hot thing so I can do my coffee. Yeah. I can have hot coffee, which is good at this temperature. And um, hopefully I will have supplemented my food intake well enough for breakfast and lunch not to need to do that for dinner. So I can slack off a bit as far as that's concerned. Uh, maybe not. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. If I'm still thinking of nothing but food, I know I still have to supplement. Do more. So I'm going to have to tinker with this. I'm not, I'm not used to this kind of thing. So, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, once everything opens up again, and I make my way to Aldi's to see what they've got. Oh, you can't have a, a, a can opener, but you can supposedly, I asked, you can bring food from the outside downstairs to their dining area. So I'm going to see how that works. And, uh, yeah, because I wouldn't think you people would <laughs> survive. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm dealing with. So tomorrow, the Aldi's should be open, and I'll make my way over there and check it out and try to get that. But I know there's a Dollar Tree and a Family Dollar also within walking distance, and I'm sure I'll eventually, I'll try to make healthy selections, but there's no guarantees at this point, you know? When you're, like I said, when you're pressed up against it, you're going to go fall back on your bad habits. So, like I said, I went for the Snickers bars instead of the peanut m All right, so, yeah, I'm pathetic, whatever. Okay, I really thought I needed to. I didn't want to say, you come here, everything falls into place. It does not fall into place, okay? Uh, another thing is, you are more or less left to your own devices. So, if you've got your plans set up, there should not be any hindrance to you getting on with it, okay? That being said, I also want to say, The personnel go out of their way to make sure you know you're being managed. I don't know if that's a bit of a revenge thing or not. Uh, it's sort of, I get it, okay? Well, no, I don't get it, and I'm very happy I don't get it. Um, but although... I can say that, but I, I also need to say the level of professionalism is extreme. It is very high. Okay? So as far as the management is concerned, I have absolutely not. They make it a point to make sure you really can't, you don't have anything to complain about. And if I stop and think about it, I have nothing to complain about. The management is excellent. Excellent. I mean, superb. Like, there's no getting around it. Okay? So, yeah. Intensely professional. I'm not even saying highly professional. I'm even saying intensely professional. Okay? So, painfully intensely. <laughs> no. It's, I have no complaints. The place is managed incredibly. All right, so yeah. Um, but yeah, you do need to supplement your diet, or all your plans and all your are going to come to nothing because you're going to be wasting your time doing nothing but thinking about food. Which, if you're a dieter, that may be normal for you. <laughs> it is really, really weird for someone that doesn't diet. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I needed to say that. I needed to get that. Because if you're just, 
If you just think you're just going to walk into anything in this country and you're not going to come up across a lot of issues that people are dealing with, you're kidding yourself. There are so many issues people are drowning in. But if you got your thing together, if you know what you want to do, and, you know, no one's going to stop you. You've got a free reign as far as I can serve. But, uh, yeah, you do need to take care of the details because they will undermine your efforts, whether you notice it or not. Me, I notice it because I'm kind of weird, detail-oriented like that. But, uh, yeah. Take care of the details. Absolutely, you need to take care of the details. Or it's not going to, things will not fall into place. They won't. Okay? But yeah, if you got your plan, you've got free reigns to execute it. But you do need to take care of the details. So this is a work in progress. Uh, I'm not saying I'm, I'm starting to handle the details because I still don't know what the details are. I'm so, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm dealing with. But uh, just throwing it out there, you will need to supplement your diet. And uh, yeah, what else can I say about New York? Um, it's cold. 20 degrees, it feels like 4. Yesterday was 10 degrees. It's cold. But the day I came in, it was beautiful. I mean, I don't know what, what I didn't even bother checking the weather. It was very nice, very pleasant. Not a moment too soon. <laughs> it turned really cold. The next week, it's going to be warm again. Well, warm in the 50s. So it's like, I don't know. According to the 10 day thing I was looking at yesterday. Oh, well, but I guess I wasn't only thinking about food. Okay, food and weather is what I'm thinking about. It's cold, and you have to supplement your diet. But uh, no complaints, because these, these people are managing this facility beautifully. Okay? It's, it's, and. Uh, yeah, you just got to get a handle on what you're dealing with and get on with it. And as far as from KKK to CIA, oh my God, at this point I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> like I said, this is re really weird for me to be thinking about food. Three weeks. <laughs> Because until I get this food thing taken care of, I can't wrap my head around anything else. This is really weird for me. I, I, I don't even I don't know how to describe it. It's not a normal thing for me. I don't know. Does this thing just, is this a constant thing? I mean, how do you live with just thinking about, it? I don't know. But anyway, until I get this these details worked out, I don't even want to put any kind of time frame in there because I don't even know what I'm doing now. <laughs> but uh, hopefully in the next few days I'll get this situation resolved so I can wrap my head around my my stuff at that point. Because this is too bizarre for me. I can't, yeah. <sighs> Alright, I needed to say that. So, Hopefully in a few days I'll get this fixed or dealt with. Um, yeah, and get back on my uh, some kind of uh, time frame. You see, like the the other title that ended up breaking. I had to break it off into two parts. 
because I see the the, the Nazi science thing is is going to be a I mean I've got to include it it's, but it's such a that I think it's going to end up being an additional title along with whatever little thing I put into it because it's not it wasn't meant to be like the major but it's so in your face kind of thing. Another thing that's so prevalent. The Kool-Aid drinker thing, I ain't, I'm not going to put that into a separate title. I will leave that for the culture that needs to deal with that. That's an insider job. Uh, maybe as an outsider, I can be somewhat more objective about it, but as an outsider, I am also considerably more clueless about it. And I will be thoughtless, insensitive, perhaps even brutal in my estimations, which, because I really don't have a complete understanding of what's going down, that kind of things are, those kind of things are unavoidable. So that really needs to be from an insider's, the person that writes that, about that, about what's going on, that has to come from that culture. There's no way any justice is going to be done to that topic unless it's an insider's perspective. Because it is way too complicated. I it's my sub, just summing it up creepy is the only word one word I can think of to to, to sum up that whole oh my god yeah that has to be someone that has to be an insider writing that title I'm not doing it because I will be just Not that I'd be wrong, but yeah, I'd probably be wrong, okay? Yeah, I'm not that sensitive, okay? If I'm not going through it myself, don't expect me to be insightful. The very fact that I can pick, out, pick things apart when I'm going through it is enough for me. All right? Well, I don't have to try to extrapolate and whatever, because I'd only be projecting my own weaknesses on something that I don't have a full understanding of, or any kind of understanding of. So that's, yeah, I'm not doing that. That has to be an insider talking about that. Uh, but the Nazi science. Hey, I am Spanish, you know. <laughs> am I going to get slack for that? Guess what? I don't care. Because talk about a group that so well deserves a bad reputation. Okay? So. Is that self-hate? Because growing up, I, I have a hell of a lot of that. Okay? Well, that's kind of unavoidable when you're growing up. So. <laughs> what a messy way to grow up. But anyway. Still being objective about it, there's a lot of terrible things in, in Spanish history. All right? Uh, we, the, 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 the whole Inquisition, right? I mean, that was our thing too. The, the the conquering half the planet, right? We did all that, all right. So, so the Nazi science thing. I'll, I'll go ahead and risk that one. Okay, I'll write that title. The Kool-Aid drinkers. That's an insider thing. 
I don't even get it. I just know enough to be creeped out about it. And that has to be someone from the inside talking about that. Oh, wow. This is 30 minutes already. I just wanted to do it like, like, like a little shorty just to warn people they have to supplement their diets. Okay, I got getting carried away. Okay. Yeah, I think I've added on another uh, title to my list. Yeah, I do have a list. But it ain't the Kool Aid Drinkers. Not so science. It's going to be one thing. All right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a mixed background, boys and girls. Don't worry about it, okay? But Spanish is definitely right on top of there, so I think I can handle that title with some level of authority. And uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. True, it's not like these these, these people that, that are wrong and get promoted for it, but, you know, so. The next draft, I'll make the correction. So someone can tell me about it. All right. Anyway, I just wanted this to be a short thing, and it's not a short thing anymore. You, you need to supplement your diet, okay? Uh, hopefully you're able to do so in a healthy way and not by running to the closest gas station and grabbing a couple of Snickers. <laughs> but either way, you got to supplement your diet. Okay, it is 9.19 a.m. December 20th, yeah, Christmas, hey. For those who celebrate, Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas, however you want to say it. Uh, happy Holidays, whatever. For the rest of us, just a few more hours, boys and girls, and things will open up again. And, and, and just be strong, and <laughs> there won't be any excuses to keep everything closed up. Okay, a few more hours. And you can go and hopefully get a, a decent, uh, something decent to eat. Okay? All right. 9.20 a.m. December 25th, Sunday morning, 2022. Somewhere in Brooklyn. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will talk to you later. Take care.